That's Marvin Hamlish's Oscar-winning adaption of The Entertainer, the theme song for the movie The Sting. Just one of the tunes Hamlish is being remembered for today. The Broadway and Hollywood composer died yesterday. Deanna Sumanak now with the legacy he leaves behind. Hamlish wrote a song, it was, like the composer himself, hard to forget. He is theater royalty, and he always will be. He knew everybody. Everybody knew him. He had a huge heart. One singular sensation. And a gift for melody that helped Hamlish move from stage musicals to movie screens with ease few composers could match. Writing a soundtrack for Barbara Streisand and Robert Redford's unlikely love story in The Way We Were put him on the map in Hollywood. It won him his first two Oscars for original music in 1974. He'd win another one that same year for adapting Scott Joplin's ragtime tunes to score a very different Robert Redford film, The Sting. Around the same time, Hamlish made a name for himself on Broadway, writing melodies for a musical about trying to get into a musical, a chorus line. Today, a chorus line is a musical standard, a show staged over and over on Broadway and beyond. But at the time Hamlish wrote those tunes, what he was doing was revolutionary. At one time, musical theater was popular music. Number one hits were no longer the musical theater shows. They, they had become rock and roll hits. Those were the number one songs on the radios. Uh, but he, he was able to bring a young and new sensibility to the musical theater uh, that, that gave it new life. And it was a knowledge he was happy to share with aspiring musical performers. In 2007, Canadian actress Cynthia Dale was a judge alongside Marvin Hamlish on CBC's talent show Triple Sensation. The two became friends. Today, Dale is starring as Dorothy Brock in Stratford Shakespeare Festival's 42nd Street. He was very giving to young performers in that whole experience. He was also very tough on performers, on what he expected. He believed in people working really hard and uh, he was not only business savvy about this world, he, he loved it. Loved it so much, he was working on scores for upcoming films until his very last day. Marvin Hamlish is one of fewer than a dozen artists who have won every major honor in the entertainment world. Academy Awards, Golden Globes, Grammys, Emmys, and a Tony. He was 68. Deanna Sumanak, CBC News, Toronto. What I've always done